What's up, y'all, man? It's Cam bringing y'all another video. Straight like that, man. Let's get right into it. Today's topic, why you should never let a woman disrespect you. Now, what you must understand is that when you are in, honestly, okay, the term alpha male shouldn't even exist. It should just be you being a man. You know why? Because being an alpha male is just how you should be. There's too many damn betas in 2020, 2021. And that's creating simps, okay? Simpitis is spreading everywhere. Simps are being created every day. When you are born and raised, bro, your parents are raising y'all to be simps, beta males. That's why it's important to have an alpha male in your life or have an alpha male mentor, something like that. Somebody that's gonna lead you in the right direction. Because one thing that you should value as a man is your time your time because guess what you can have all the money in the world but your time is limited everybody's time is limited bro we don't know when we finna leave this earth we don't know when time is of the essence so for somebody to waste your time that to me and to you it should be to you the ultimate form of disrespect the ultimate form of disrespect whether this is your wife your girlfriend or a girl you just talking to, a girl you rocking with, for them to waste your time, that is the ultimate sign of disrespect to me. You know why? Because they saw themselves as more important than you. They thought in their mind, well, my needs should go above his needs, so I'm gonna go ahead and waste his time. That is the ultimate sign of disrespect. They just took a chunk, however long you've been with them or whatever, a chunk out of your life. You just gave energy to them for however long. That is the ultimate sign of disrespect. Wasting your time. So value it. Value your time. Never let a woman disrespect you, bro. And there's so many ways that she could disrespect you. Listen, I had a I had a subscriber actually DM me earlier today and he said that his girl was responding to dudes that were hitting her up. Not in a, not in a, a, a sexual way, but for example, if a dude would call her cute or something like that, she would respond and say, you know what I mean? Send her, send him some smiling emojis or, or you know what I mean? Say, thank you. She wouldn't reject him. She wouldn't necessarily lead him on, but at least not on surface level, but she wouldn't reject him. Now, let me give you two sides to that. On one side, if you are the dude hitting, first of all, if you are a dude hitting up a woman, right and she gives you a low energy response that's neither a rejection or you know a, a okay yeah i'll fuck with you all right you shouldn't even want to rock with her in the first place because she's in the middle that means she probably has some other shit going on you know why because women give out that answer when they want to keep you around as an option when they want to keep you around as an option they don't want to cheat they want to remain loyal but Worst comes to worst, her and her dude have a fight. She gets mad, she wants to get revenge. She gonna hit him right back up. She goes on a break. She, she says she wants to go on a break. She gonna hit that nigga right back up. You must not let your girl disrespect you like that. You cannot let your girl disrespect you like that. That is a waste of your time. That is a waste of your time because she is literally talking to other dudes, keeping them around as options, which means that she doesn't value you enough to the point where she can't even cut off her beta male orbiters. Her beta male orbiters are the guys that are constantly going to be flirting with her, hitting her up like and, 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 and stuff like that. And you know what? Every woman is going to have that. But you need to watch how your woman responds. Because if she responds saying, nah, I'm in, a, I'm in something right now, or just doesn't respond at all, cool. Cool. Honestly, I would say just don't respond at all. That's my preference. But if she's responding, not necessarily rejecting, giving them a chance, giving them hope, niggas nowadays is going to take that hope and run with it. And she knows the game. Because women have game, bro. They know the game. Don't let them disrespect you like that. Don't let them devalue who you are as a man because that's really what that is. They're devaluing and disrespecting who you are as a man. Don't take that. Don't accept that. Do not accept that shit. 
So now, what I told this subscriber and what I'm go and what I'm about to tell y'all, in that situation, if it happens multiple times, if you tell her one time, right? And she says, okay, I'm gonna stop. And then you catch her doing it again. You must break up with her. You must break up with her. Do not believe in second chances because I promise you, I promise you, if you tell somebody to do something one or not to do something one time and they go and do it again, they're going to keep going it and doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it. Because guess what? When you create chances and give people chances, they lose respect for you. And that's just not, that's not even just with women. That's in general. That's in life. When you continue to give people that disrespect you, chance after chance after chance they see that you don't even respect yourself enough to leave in that situation bro cut them the fuck off cut them off if it's your girl break up with her your wife divorce her divorce her and now i know a lot of y'all oh that's kind of harsh that's kind of mean but listen bro you really gonna let her sit up there and disrespect you like that what do you mean that's harsh that's mean because guess what the same dude saying oh that's too much you're going too far you being you overreacting them same dudes that say that is the ones that's getting cheated on. It's the ones that 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 believe when that girl says, "Oh, you're overreacting," and then and they leave it alone. And the next thing you know, they get a text talking about, "I messed up." Oh, you're gonna hate me. That's them same dudes. Don't believe in no second chances, bruh. You must cut her off if that happens. You must cut her off if she disrespects you. And you know what, on top of that disrespect, most of the time, this is what women will do. When you call them out for something, they'll blame you because they don't want to take accountability. They will blame you. They will say, oh, well, you're overreacting or you're doing too much or you're being jealous. That is a defense mechanism, bruh. It's a defense mechanism because they don't want to take accountability for what they're doing. They're being unloyal to you they're wasting your time they don't value you as a man they don't value you as a person fuck you look like staying with somebody that don't even value you as a person bruh you the clown for that it's not even her fault for being unloyal at that point if you continue to stay with a woman that's disrespecting you you are the one who's a clown ain't no fixing it bruh let's end the culture of getting in a relationship and trying to fix somebody that's not the man's job that's the woman's job that's what they do because they get in their emotions. That is not the man's job. Never go into a relationship trying to change somebody for the better. Because people will never really truly change. Especially not females in a relationship because they don't unconditionally love you. They can only unconditionally love their child. When a woman says she loves you, bro, it's cap. She's lying. She's just emotional. She's just trying to say, yeah, you got me in my emotions. Yes, I'm attached. But she doesn't love you, bro. Get that out your mind, bro. Especially if she disrespects me, bro. Don't let her fucking lie to you like that. Women have been figured out that men just like to hear stuff. They'll just tell you what you want to hear. But you must look at a woman's actions. If she continues to disrespect, you must cut her off. Don't hold back. A lot of y'all claim to be red pill and alpha, but you won't put the work in, bro. You too scared because you think if you cut her off, I'm never going to find somebody like her again. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. I guarantee that woman you're with right now is not that special. She's not that special. There are other women out there like that. Now, I understand wanting to stay with a female because you like what she brings to the table. You like uh, uh, her non-sexual attention. You like her company. That's very understandable not to want to lose somebody like that. But never get in the mindset that you will never find anyone else like that because there are 7 billion people on this earth. So it's at least millions, hundreds of thousands of other women like that in your area, in your area. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do we take from today? If you being disrespected, if she's ignoring you all the time, playing games with you, texting other guys, whatever the situation is, you must cut her off. Wife, divorce, girlfriend, break up, somebody you're just talking to, ghost them. And it's crazy because women will call this behavior toxic, but in reality, we just giving them what they deserve. But that's all I got for y'all today, man. 
Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope y'all took some good ass notes, bruh. I'm out of here, man. I love y'all.